All right, hello everybody. This video is for front ensemble people only. Um, if you navigate from the modules down, you will find front ensemble floor exercises and our assignment double verticals. All right, so once we get into double verticals, you can see the first line has right hand and left hand, and then after that, the next line and the subsequent line after is um, all combined. And that's because here you want to see what the right and left hands are doing because they're working together. And then in the next measures, uh, it goes right, left, right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right, left, right. Um, obviously, there will be a video tutorial that I'm currently assembling. And then on the practice tracks, you will be able to click and hear. Uh, if, we, if we check that out, it has a drum set and a marimba playing. Um, and that is for you to play along with uh, in practice or if you want to even record your video with it. And then, of course, our double verticals assignment, which you're well used to doing by now. But this will be on the floor or an instrument if you have it. Um, and you'll just upload it here. All right, let's dive into the exercise now. All right, this exercise is named after the stroke type that we use, and all the subsequent exercises for the floor are as well. The double vertical stroke, I'm sure Dr. Summerlow has explained it to you, but it is when both mallets in one hand move up and down together to strike the bar simultaneously. That's called a double, as in two mallets, and vertical, as in up and down. All right. Um, in this exercise, the way that it is split up, it's basically like a line at a time. Uh, we kind of have each mini exercise within the exercise. Uh, at the beginning, we have the first line, we have right hand up top, left hand on bottom, just to give you an idea that they're all striking together. In the second line, we have our, obviously our right hand being the high note and our left hand being the low note, and we alternate back and forth playing eighth notes and then 16th notes. And then the final line, we have the same idea with eighth notes and 16 notes, but our left hand is striking first and then our right hand's on the upbeats or the ease and as. Um, really in terms of pitfalls on this exercise, we wanna make sure that the motion is coming from the wrist. It's really critical because that's what's gonna give our tone quality uh, its best sound. And then also we wanna make sure that we're nice and relaxed and uh, turning from the wrist and getting back up to where we start from. All right, we, we have our kind of home base position, which is up elevated above the bars, and we turn our wrist and then we come right back to where we end up. So if you kind of think about all those things as you play this exercise, uh, you're gonna get the most optimal sound quality and execution. All right, let's take a look at Aiden demonstrating this. 